know, it, yeah, Cape Coral is it's like, it's like a beach community. Okay. We're going to have to go back soon. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Morgan saying, let's get out of here. I want banana juice. Well, I don't, I don't like clamping her toe too long either. Yeah, you know? that's right. You're clamping her I'm, toe. I'm holding on to her foot. Forgetting. She's getting a little antsy about me holding, see? About me holding on to her foot. He's like, I want to be free, Daddy. You could probably, I mean, it's it's kind of breezy today, but um, yeah, it was nice chatting with you too. Yeah, he's out here all the time, so if it's not if it's not too windy, not too hot or too cold or too windy. If it's a pleasant afternoon, I'll come out with her after work or on the weekends, just for a little. But this is nice for her that you came up. Yeah, she enjoys. Visiting with people. She likes to meet people. And she likes to interact with you. Now see how she pinned? Now tell her again how beautiful she is. You're a beauty, Morgan. She's so pretty. Yeah. Morgan, you're a beauty. See she's she's fluffing and she's like, Oh I am, aren't I? <laughs> she's extremely vain. That's so funny because I always say about Luna that she's learned to rely on her looks and Morgan. <laughs> yeah. The first time I told Morgan she was beautiful. She tilted her head back like a queen and blushed bright pink. No. Yes. All that white skin around her eyes blushed pink. Yeah. I had another macaw. A friend of mine has a Buffon's macaw, which is one of the rarest macaws in the world. A Buffon's macaw. They're called great green Buffon's. And they're huge. They're huge. Uh, yeah, in their own way, in their own way, very beautiful, huge, twice her size. No. Yes. Mostly green, red on the tail, uh, deep green. The main green on their body is like her forehead, but her, their forehead is deep green. But twice her size is... No, no, about... about maybe, th maybe 30, 30 to 40 percent bigger. Yeah. Um, but he was a male. My friend had named this huge macaw Twinkie, <laughs> which I think is a riot. And he, I went up to him and told him he was handsome. And he did the same thing. He blushed pink all around his eyes, and tilted his head back, and he had a crush on me. <laughs> and, and she told me, she says, Lori, I've just been reading about this. This bird has a crush on you. And I sat down cross-legged on the floor, and he climbed up in my lap. And I had never held him a call in my life, because that was before we got Morgan. In fact, we got Morgan because of Twinkie. <laughs> he was so much fun. We, we played with him all weekend. He was a riot. But he had a crush on me, and my African Grey was with me, and my African Grey was furious because Twinkie kept throwing kisses to me. <laughs> and I would look over, and my African Grey was in the cage, bobbing his head up and down, like, you just wait till I get out, buddy, because I'm going to slay you. And finally, we did take them all out, and the first thing he did was go after the Buffon's macaw. And we had to grab them because they were headed right for each other. I mean, the Buffon's macaw would have killed my gray, you know. But that's how, you know, fearless, totally fearless. You threw kisses to my wife, I'm right. going to kill you. Typically, altercations between birds, the little one is the aggressor that comes out and, you know. The loser. The loser. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, 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 the bigger, more powerful bird obviously has the advantage. That very, that very same uh, friend of ours that has Twinkie has a yellow collared macaw, which is a mini macaw family. A little bit smaller than her, but about the size of a gray. But she got careless one time and let the yellow collar near one of her larger birds and took, took its, its bottom. Lower it mandible. Took its bottom yeah. Right off. It did grow back. It grew oh, back. She had a prosthetic mandible. Oh, I thought it grew back. Oh, she had a prosthetic I don't remember that. Back. She had a prosthetic lower beak major bird. I don't remember that. But we're very careful. We don't we don't allow them out yeah. without very close supervision. We don't take chances with our birds. No. Well, this is taking a chance, I think, but <laughs> but it's a routine now. He does it all the time, so <laughs> You gonna dance? Tell Ellen to sing for you. Loves to be sung to. And to many like kisses seem to cool in the warmth of the sun. 
she's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She gets real. Depending, one day he started singing that to her, and she started. Um, she gets real mushy. She gets yeah. real mushy. Yeah. Mike Ray will get like that too. He'll get real dreamy eyed, and his <laughs> eyes will half close. He's like, "Oh, mom, I love you." <laughs> Here comes some people. Say hi. Oh, you're okay. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, it's okay. No, I'm filming. You can go up and say hi. Just don't get too close. She loves it when people come up and say hi. She's 10. Yeah. That's a baby. You obviously keep her... Either in a very large cage or oh, yeah. pretty big cage. She's in a very big cage. About four foot wide, about thirty inches deep, about four foot tall. Does he? Not me. <laughs> well, yeah. well, she she'll bite sometimes. Depends on. The, she bit him today because I'm out here and she's jealous. She doesn't want me here. Because <laughs> she thinks he she's his wife. Yeah. My African gray bites him because he thinks he's my wife, my husband. Yeah. But she's not, she doesn't, she never, like, she doesn't draw blood. She's, she's nip, yeah. Now, a stranger, yeah, she might. But Alan and I can handle her pretty well. Does she go after a dog or cat? We've never, we had a cat for a while. She never bothered the, she would, if we, she got down on the floor, she'd kind of chase the cat a little bit. It was a huge Maine Coon. But my African Grey would go after the cat and dive bomb the cat. And the cat was like five times his size. And one day I was laying on the floor and I had my feet propped up on the sofa with my back on the floor and my African gray was on the tip of my shoe and the cat came over and snuggled up to me and he dive bombed her because he was jealous. <laughs> and she was scared of him. She was scared of the, of, the, of the gray. Chasing through the house, in her little crazy you know, cat <laughs> mood. And she went running through the house and the African gray was just walking on the floor. You know, and she comes running around the corner and came face to face with the gray, and the gray is just like, Wait a minute. He didn't even move. He didn't even <laughs> budge. He just looked at her like, This is my house. Yeah. And um, she went way around him. She walked all the way to the other side of the living room to get away from him. Yeah. She was a sweet cat. Oh, okay. Now that's just, she's just vocalizing. Way up there. Oh, yeah. You have pretty good eyes. Yeah. Right? I was like, I know. They look so familiar. Oh, okay. <laughs> what congregation do you go to? Gold Gold side, Gold yeah. Side, yeah. But I know. I know. Oh, okay, well, we just we, split. So yeah. give us time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm Lori. I'm Brianna. I just wanted to say hi because I saw you and I was like, I can say hi before I. Okay, yeah. I'm Lori and this is Alan. You guys are. Yeah, in Gulf Side, right? you guys are yeah, we're staying in Gulf Side. Yeah. And your name? Brianna. Brianna? Yeah. Alexa. Oh, Alexa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to say hi. Hi. Is that so that's your bird? Yeah. Yeah. We live right. We live here in Tarpon, but we go to Gulf Side because we don't know if it's going to be Did you permanent. Ever see that yeah. One with the I know. I live literally like right down the street from here. Oh yeah, yeah. Us too. Right over on Boyer. Oh okay. I'm on Shadow. The little town condo. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah. It was good to Late see you. Yeah. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, we'll see you. Nice to see you. Bye. 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 Did he take care of it? No. Oh. Cage is filthy. Oh. The bird doesn't ever go out. Oh. They just feed it and that's it. That's poor